Uh, we have a bombshell announcement. Attorney General Jeff Sessions says officials in sanctuary cities and states are breaking the law by not cooperating with immigration officials. Today, Sessions threatened to withhold federal grant money from sanctuary cities and states and to take money back or back money that those cities have already received. Failure to deport aliens who are convicted of criminal offenses puts whole communities at risk. California lawmakers are considering a bill that would make California a sanctuary state. Los Angeles does not officially call itself a sanctuary city, even though it has sanctuary policies. Santa Ana has declared itself a sanctuary city. And that's where CBS2 Orange County reporter Michelle Geely is live right now with Reaction. Michelle? Pat and Rick, I talked to a councilman today and he says that the people here in Santa Ana have nothing to worry about with regard to getting that federal funding that they have been getting for years and years. Here is the message to the people, he says. We will not voluntarily give up your information, but if you commit a violent crime in this city, be prepared to have your immigration status information given up to the feds. Police are here not to deport, they say, but to protect. The reality is we're not going to be intimidated. Santa Ana may be Orange County's only sanctuary city, but Councilman Sal Tenejero says its police and city leaders have never withheld suspect immigration information. The federal government is getting what it requires, according to Tenejero, so funding cannot be cut, as Attorney General Jeff Sessions suggested today. Every time that someone is arrested in the city of Santa Ana and we ask them their status here in the United States, which is what you do to every single person, we keep that for ourselves. But if the federal government asks for it formally, we give them that information. So in order for Mr. Sessions to take our funds away, he has to prove that we have violated that. And the reality is we haven't. Santa Ana gets millions in federal grants for things like gang enforcement and the hiring of new officers. Up until recently, the feds rented hundreds of beds at the Santa Ana jail to house federal inmates. Since Donald Trump's election, however, those numbers have dramatically decreased. At last count, Santa Ana has lost $3 million, money used to supplement the police department's budget. Donald Trump has to also figure it out. Either you want safe communities or you don't. Either you're going to be the president that continues to allow our quality of life to flourish, or you're going to be the one that diminishes it. Now, if the feds do try to take money away from Santa Ana, the city leaders say they will fight it and they predict that they will win. Live in Santa Ana, I'm Michelle Geely. Back to you.